Hello student, welcome to my channel. This is Razi Maria, and here I am going to teach you about linear equation in one day. I hope you would like this video and try to solve the question which is based on this concept. We have discussed the concept of linear equation in previous class also. In the previous class, I taught you about the linear equation very deeply. So I hope how does a equation form and when we call an equation linear equation. Here we just study about the linear equation. Here we need not to know how does a linear equation form. So let us see what is the linear equation. As we know that when an algebraic equation, algebraic expression become equal to zero, then it is known as equation. And if the equation having a degree one, then such equation known as linear equation. So we can say that an equation having its degree one is called linear equation is called linear equation for example 4x minus 2y is equal to 0. In this equation, we can see that the highest power of the variable is 1, which shows that the degree of this equation is 1, and hence such equation is called linear equation. The next when a linear equation is called linear equation in one variable. So the answer will be if a linear equation having the variable of same kind then it called linear equation in one variable. For example we can see that 4x plus 7 is equal to 3x minus 4. In this equation, we can see that the variables are of same kind. So that this equation is called linear equation in one value. I hope that the definition of linear equation in one variable is clear. Now, let us see the solution of linear equation. The solution of linear equation. What is the sense of solution? The solution means the solution is the numerical value of the variable for which the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation become equal. The solution of an equation is the numerical value of the variable for which the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation become equal to zero. Sorry, become equal. Then this numerical value is called solution of the equation. For example, the given equation is 
x plus 2 is equal to 7. This is the given equation. And here we have to find out a numerical value of x for which the both sides become equal. So, in order to find out the solution of the equation, there are many methods known as error and trial method, simultaneous operation on both sides, transposition method and so on. So here, let us see, if we substitute x is equal to 5 in the given equation. If we substitute x is equal to 5 in the given equation, we get 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. 5 plus 2 is 7 and 7 is equal to 7 which implies that left hand side is equal to right hand side. Therefore, for x is equal to 5, the left hand side and right hand side become equal which shows that x is equal to 5 is the solution of the given equation. Okay. Now, let us see method for finding the solution of the equation. Method for finding the solution of the equation. Methods for finding the solution of equation. The first method is simultaneous operation. Simultaneous operation on both sides on both sides. Sometimes this method also known as inverse operation for elimination. Inverse operation for elimination. Inverse operation for elimination. The simultaneous operation method on both sides we have discussed in the previous class. <coughs> in this method, we carried out the same operation on the both sides in order to separate the variable from constant and at last by continuing the same process we get the numerical value of x that is the variable for which the left hand side become equal to right hand side ok so let us see the method using an example. The given question is the first question is 3x plus 4 equal to 30. This is the given equation and we have to find out the numerical value of x using the method of simultaneous operation on both sides. Here in the first state, first we observe that in the left hand side 4 is added with 3x. Therefore, we subtract 4 on both sides. As you have seen here, the heading was inverse operation for elimination. Elimination means we have to vanish the quantity which does not have variable. So, here we write 
subtracting four on both sides. On both sides. So when we subtract, we get three x plus four minus four is equal to thirty minus four. So here four and four become cancelled out, and we get three x is equal to nine. In the next, we can see that three is multiplied by x. In order to eliminate three, we have to divide the both sides by three. Therefore, we write divide by three. On both side, on both sides. So when we divide, we get three x upon three is equal to nine upon three. So here three and three cancelled out, and here three one and three, and three three is nine. So this implies X is equal to three. Therefore, X is equal to three is the required solution for which the left hand side of the equation become equal to right hand side, which shows that X is equal to three is the accurate solution of the equation. Okay. So I hope the method. The idea is clear to everyone. Now let us see one more question on the same process. The second question is x by three plus four is equal to x by four plus eight. Okay. In order to solve this question in the left hand side, we can see that four is added with x by two. So in the first step. We shall subtract four on the both side. Okay. So I think that the statement is no need is needed to write here. We directly subtract four on both sides. So here we get x upon three plus four minus four is equal to x by four plus eight minus four. Okay. So here we can see that four and four cancelled out. We get x by three is equal to x by four plus four because eight minus four equal to four. Okay. Now <coughs> here we can see that. In the right hand side, x minus four is also present, so we have to eliminate x by four from right hand side. In order to eliminate x by four from right hand side, we have to subtract x minus four from both side. So we write x by three minus x by four equal to x by four. Minus x by four plus four. Okay, so here x by four and x by four cancelled out, and in the left hand side we get four x minus three x upon twelve is equal to four. Okay, 
x minus 3 upon x, x upon 3 minus x upon 4 are two fraction which are to be subtracted. So here I have done and in the left hand side 4 remains. Now solve it so we get x by 12 equal to 4. In this step we can see that 12 is divided so in order to eliminate 12 we have to multiply by 12 on both sides. So when we multiply we get x upon 12 multiplied by 12 is equal to 4 multiplied by 12. So here 12 and 12 cancelled out and we get x is equal to 48. 4 12 are 48. Therefore x is equal to 48 is the right answer. Therefore, x is equal to 48 is the right answer. So, student, I hope it is clear to everyone. We shall meet in the next video with new questions. Till then, goodbye.